versus Morris Allen, and this should be a real ding dong jump. No, sure is. We saw some good performances from both of these guys earlier in the night. Obviously, Maurice bringing the flash, bringing the style, bringing the moves. Can't wait to see how he can hit him. He's an absolute entertainer through and through, and here he is in the semis, and here he is to start off this second semi final. Well, the first three were not great. Now, with these semis, it's important to get a number down, give you something to build upon, build up in your concentration as well. But with this opener flying into the trees, he's not going to be not going to be pleased. No, it's a hurried start, and he's struggling to get into the groove. And of course, you're just looking for that one tremendous hit, which we saw Tate produce, and then suddenly he finds one and manages to perhaps get it in the grid. Remember, 60 yards wide, but that's wide again, so he's running out of time. It's a great shot if there'd been a flag on the green. That's it, you can see doubt beginning to creep in a little bit, needing some extra focus here late in the night. But he looks at the crowd and he's happy with that one. Yeah, he knows, he knows he's hit it between the lines. Now, how far is it gonna be? 360, 370, two. So he's thrown down a benchmark there. And he's pretty happy with that, with how he's performed. Over to his playing opponent now, Burke. What's he got? He's got a good frame for this sort of game. Yeah, and he's been hitting some good shots all night, but the moment's getting a little bit bigger. Let's see if he can match Maurice. Well, there's one thing for sure. They're both hitting it wide, and it's understandable because they're at full tilt. I mean, now he's getting frustrated. Now yeah. he's getting frustrated. You have to question the toll a night like this takes on the body. How tiring is it? Big, explosive moves like this time and time again. And it's cooling down. It's not cold, but it's cooling down. That affects how your body's moving. Can he launch something out there and put Allen onto the power ball? Can he? No, another one's wide. And I tell you what, how many turns is that? Is that five attempts that he's had? He's getting down to his last few. A little bit better, he gives that one a look. Let's see how this finishes. Oh, go on. That's taking a massive hop. Go on. Oh, that's going over 400 yards. 401 yards. What a time to produce that. Big shot and a big moment for Tim Burke, and he knows it. Well, he'll take that. Now, Maurice Allen has to hit probably one of the shots of his life. He has hit it 488 before, but he needs that now. And that's not going to be it. And would you believe it? He's lost this semi-final and awaiting in the final is the Scotsman, James Tate. Tim, first four or so, not so sure, all going down the left-hand side, but you found the big one you needed to make it through to the final again here in Dubai. Yeah, just try to hit it solid, slow down a little bit. I've, I noticed some of the bigger balls aren't the fastest swing. So uh, just try to hit it solid and I hit it down the middle and it, I guess it rolled out for me. Touch and go throughout the competition tonight. Uh, you leave in your best for the final. It's going to need to be against an inform James Tate. Yeah, I went against him in, uh, in London. He beat me. So, uh, yeah, a little revenge here. All the best in the final. <laughs> Appreciate it. Good luck. Tim Burke.